Well, the Sacramento City Council voted to pass a Gaza ceasefire resolution. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live with what uh, its passage means in the protests during the vote. Rachel, good morning. Good morning. This was expected to be a very highly attended meeting, and that's why SAC PD had extra officers on hand. And things got a little out of hand around 9 o'clock last night when passions overflowed at this PAC City Council meeting, forcing it to close down. The Sacramento City Council voted to pass a Gaza ceasefire resolution after the public was removed from the chambers for repeated outbursts. Mayor Daryl Steinberg ordered the packed chambers cleared after several warnings against disruptions through the evening. All but 12 left, disobeying the lawful orders to disperse. The mayor says he introduced the ceasefire agreement after recent protests during council meetings that had become untenable. I think it's going as well as to be expected given the tumultuous situation and the really, you know, this is a very volatile situation. We all know that. I think everyone's here with a common understanding that every human is entitled to peace, dignity, and freedom, and they're vocalizing as such. The resolution passed six to one. Councilmember Lisa Kaplan was the only no vote. So those dozen people were arrested for unlawful assembly and failure to disperse. They were booked in the Sac County Jail. This resolution, this ceasefire resolution, basically denouncing the October 7th attacks and asking for the release of hostages, among several other things. The mayor saying this is something that we could do here uh, in a situation where a lot of people just feel helpless, but that it's making a statement for the city of Sacramento. Mm -hmm.